What is the point of settling orders, whether they're internal or discrete production or repetitive production or other modules? Uh, I'll start this one off. This is Joe here. Um, we have a monthly settlement with our orders. And one of the reasons we do that is to make sure all the balances get down to zero. And we have reporting that relies on the orders being fully settled. Um, we also have some reclasses that we do to make sure that they are zero at month end and then do settlement. And uh, if you don't have your order settled, you will not be able to set the flags for marking them as complete and eventually getting them archived. And if you have many, many orders over time, they will build up and slow down your month-end process. Great. Um, Thank you. This is John. Also, Joe, um, the, there is difference between oh. different sorts of orders. Um, internal orders are temporary objects, and um, they need to be sold to the cost center to um, report on all your costs, all your overhead costs in the cost centers. And production orders need to be settled to report on your production variances. Great. Okay. If there's if there's not any other additions to that response, then I'll go to the next question. Alice, uh, I don't know if you noticed, but we do have one in the queue from Mohammed, and I want to encourage our other attendees to chime in. We have a fairly small audience on the live session today. That means your questions are going to get special attention, but we need you to participate. So put your questions out there. Do you see the one from Muhammad there? Do you want me to read it? or? Sure. I'll, I'll let you take this one. All right. So Muhammad asks, can we activate availability check for internal order budget at the time of posting down payment? 